this morning at the rain assembly we are so blessed to have all the way from amsterdam our own brother and friend and son reverend dr jean pierre eno to bring us the word of god that the last time he came here the word of god was so powerful it was such a blessing and he is back here together with his wife i will invite both of them the woman who bring us a greeting the man who preach or the man who bring us a greeting the woman will preach it depends on how they do their division of labor but these are a son and a daughter of this house and we love them and appreciate them so much and over the years they've been such 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 a blessing that there is there is nothing like being somewhere and you just know somebody loves you and this man of god and this woman of god they love us they are they are preaching this morning because they love you and they will give you anything god wants them to give to you so i need you to stand to your feet and help me welcome the two man and woman of god receive both of them together and the lord mightily bless your life your pulpit is up here in jesus name can i have an okay thank you we go that way thank you sir god bless amen 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 come on receive them well hallelujah hallelujah well how are you all doing this morning are you glad to be in the house of the lord are you glad to be in the house of the lord somebody give god a shout hallelujah you all may be seated in god's wonderful presence hallelujah um I'm expected to give a greeting, but of course I'm doing a bit of an introduction before my husband comes up. And I want you to be full of expectation. Amen. This morning, um, we are very privileged to be here. I thank God that he sent us all the way from Amsterdam to come here. And um, I told daddy before I came, I'm coming in like the queen of Sheba. I'm coming in with goods, but with a great expectation to sit under your feet of, of Papa and Mama and to receive a lot of wisdom. You know, we were talking about a rare spirit. Papa is carrying a rare spirit. I have never seen somebody that is so audacious, so have such a tenacity, wants to always move forward despite of all the situation roadblocks stumbling blocks corona covid it doesn't matter what it is called you always want to push forward you must be very glad and proud and privileged to have such a man and woman of god in this house this morning i want you to open up your heart i know maybe you're not used to um, other speakers and yes papa invites a lot of speakers but knowing my husband now for so many years i know that something profound will come out of his spirit and i want you i want you to be ready because this morning while I, while I was praying i told the holy spirit that he himself need to be shocked when he's walking off the of the altar and I have really a good relationship with God, obviously, because otherwise I would not be so close to mama and papa. <laughs> but I, wanted, I just want to say to you that you will not be disappointed. Put your trust in God. Open up your heart. Open up your spirit. The Bible says your, the expectation of the righteous will not be cut off. Are you a righteous person? so your expectation so put it high let god shock you today there's one thing i always say in amsterdam let god give you a shock de la shock in the name of jesus amen the bible says that he you know in psalm 126 verse 1 that but the bible says that when the lord turned the captivity of zion around they were those that dream right 
if you look at the Ephesians 3 verse 20 in the message translation, it says that God wants to do far more than our wildest dreams. So if you don't have an expectation, if you don't dream wild, if you don't give God a certain standard to move over it, then what do you want God to do then? And then you're like, yeah, I don't know why my life is changing. I don't know why my life is like this. No, you don't have an expectation. So this morning, I'm looking to all of you. I'm looking from left to right and to up. Have an expectation. Let God give you a shock de la shock in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody shout glory. Somebody shout glory. Somebody shout glory. Papa and Mama, I want to start by thanking you for giving me the privilege and the honor to stand on this great altar. With all humility, I pick up this mic. It is not easy to stand on the same pulpit that my father stands. But I believe God that qualifies men, pick them from nothing and make them somebody, has qualified me to stand here. You have been my everything. You have been the one that have always shown me the way. People talk about prophets. You are my prophet. You are my prophet. The Bible says when you receive a prophet in the name of a prophet, you receive the prophet's reward. I call that flowing in the spirit. And I believe everything that is happening in my life today, you are the person that fuel it. So I want to thank God for your life. I want to thank God. I appreciate the wisdom that always come out of mama. And I really want to thank God for both of you. You people don't understand when I was about to go to Cameroon. I knew it was a matter of life and death. I knew that. But my spirit already traveled to Manfi before I left Amsterdam. That can happen. How many of you know that is possible? I saw myself going there before I left Amsterdam. So my, my junior brother from America called me, a pharmacist. He said to me, do you please, you didn't say anything since Papa died. Actually, I was very quiet. Because I was praying, I know that I have to go somewhere. And I want to get the full leading. Then he convinced me around 12 to 1 a.m. He said, if you don't go, this whole barrier will be funny. That's what he told me. The thing chased me all night. And I start to think about it. The first person that I called, I called best, best Papa. Actually, we don't really make um, anything that is important in our life. I don't know how you people do it here without talking to Papa. I will call him. I don't, I don't call for, with problems. I don't know how to do that. But if there is something that I know it has to do with destiny, you will always hear me call Papa first because I want to know whether it is so. The Bible says in the multitude of counsel there is safety. And I believe so much in leadership. I believe in parent, parenthood. I believe that without a spiritual figure in your life, it doesn't matter who you are. I don't believe somebody just landed from the air and become somebody. Somebody held your hand and made you to be the person that you are today. And for me, it's Papa. So this night, while we were going to, I decided to go to Cameroon. We went to Boya. I was praying all night. I was the only one that was not eating. My mother got troubled that I wasn't eating. So she forced me to eat fish. I look at her. I said, Mama, later, I went to my room. When I went to my room, she could not even come to where I sleep. She, was, she kept standing at the door to talk to me. So I went to my room that night praying. My spirit was troubled. I know that I was wrestling with something. All of a sudden, I have a vision. I saw my papa sitting quiet. He was so quiet. And another great man of God that was beside. Really a, a great man of God that I respect. 
and all of you saw it the man of god was saying two people would die he got this that two people would die in this trip and i was crying because actually that same day my mother pleaded with me with almost tears in her eyes don't go don't go but my papa was quiet he has a way that i don't understand so me i ran instead to him i know the man of god spoke i ran to him as a papa mama my mother is saying don't go but i know i have to be there what are you saying he just looked at me he said nothing because the other man of god was talking so that same night i sent papa a message papa called and papa said to me based on this revelation if you don't go something will happen then you know the way papa talks go because you will be a coward for not going and then he dropped the phone <laughs> then i said I, I said now although my spirit already traveled to Manfe, i have a backup i have a backing i am going all the way and you cannot imagine while we were going our car got broke down so i went there with one of my sister she chose to go with me she chose she said my spirit is already in that man if i have to die i will die so she followed and another one to in america choose to come so their car already got there but in the middle of the road one hour we got like one hour delay where we stopped where the car got broke down you could see bullets you could see the bullets in the walls and everything so the driver told me the way you are calm as if nothing is happening i said nothing will happen that is not the assurance that i got from the lord today so so my mother was there she didn't see me she started to pray she said i told him not to come now he is the only one that didn't show up on time and then she was just praying very quiet she was praying and i showed up we went we gave her up i gave my father a befitting barrier i had to say something there and we came back the next day i had a vision how killings took place my mother said exactly the sh people were shot on that place many things happened because Cameroon now is having a kind of a war the english people want to be free from the french people they said the way they have been treating them all this while they don't like it so for some time now the war has been going on but i thank god for papa and mama there are many testimonies i can share about papa and mama because i don't know them like how you know them for me spiritual things when i meet him in the spirit for me it's as real as i'm meeting him in the physical so i don't always need another advice after we have an encounter i just know this is what i have to do and please i want to encourage you to appreciate this great vessel of honor in our time in our time and papa and mama one more time thank you <laughs> hallelujah how many of you are ready this morning forget about the time anything can still happen within 10 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes it's not about a time factor it's about the holy spirit factor today I want to open your spirit to some places and some things that i hear papa say in this room all the time there's nothing that you're about to hear me say today which maybe you haven't heard before but maybe i'm just here to refresh in someone i'm just here to talk to the spirit of somebody i'm just here to help somebody press forward i'm just here to help somebody keep standing irrespective of what you may be going through in life hallelujah today i would love you to open your bibles to the book of matthew chapter number 26 matthew chapter number 26 our papa have been talking about glossolalia so i want us to just 
I want to flow in that same direction so that I don't come here with my own thing. Hallelujah. Matthew 26, chapter number, Matthew chapter number 26, verse 39. I would love us to go there. Thank you. And he went a little further on his face and prayed, saying, saying, Oh, my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou will. And the Bible says in verse 40, And he cometh unto the disciples, and findeth them asleep, and saith unto, the, unto Peter, what could ye not what could ye not watch with me one hour watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation my emphasis today is temptation i want to talk about a subject which most of the time many people find it strange that word temptation is a greek word they call it perasmus it means adversity say adversity it means the experience of evil jesus said pray that ye enter not into temptation so the emphasis what he was warning us about is the temptation that will happen to you and overtake you if you don't pray if you don't pray the bible says if you faint in the days of adversity your quack strength is small that word strength means vigor ability to withstand evil and still keep looking at evil till it disappears till it disappears now it is not everything that you pray about that will live how many of you have gone to your pastor and he prayed for you the thing didn't change and you fasted it, it looks like it didn't change you sang all day the thing didn't change and if you're a young person today i am talking to you because this is the place where many of you quit you quit because you think maybe god has forsaken you in the process you quit but there are some points that i want to pick out of this what did jesus do in his time of adversity what did he do the bible says he prayed tell somebody he prayed tell somebody he prayed now was jesus praying for the situation to change no because at the end of the day if you read very well he still went to the cross the situation did not change because he prayed but there was something that jesus needed in his prayer to go through that situation many of the time in the church all what we know is dunamis exousia authority dunamis but they are different dimensions of power there are different levels of power which i believe the church every believer in christ must enter in in short there are certain times that you will need it because even your pastor's prayer may not be enough i know you didn't hear me i will say it again i say you will need it because even your pastor's prayer may not be enough I have seen believers that they prayed for them they still end up committing suicide i have seen people that the highest anointed person put their hand on them yet their business still went to shipwreck but what are you gonna do in that time is important and what you need that is what you need to know corona came people change many people didn't know what to do 
they change in the time of corona they have prayed all kinds of prayer in the time of corona and it seems as if corona is not going anywhere then what do we need what are the ingredients that we need as a church at this point in time that irrespective of what we are experiencing we will keep standing and still keep doing what we were called to do now paul said about our money to the father of our lord jesus christ of whom the whole family of heaven and earth is named that he will grant unto me according to his to his riches in his glory to be strengthened to be strengthened with might now i want to emphasize on the word strengthen that word strengthen means kratos it's also a form of power it's not all the time you say i need the dunamis because you break for that situation dunamis was supposed to make it change but it didn't change i don't know whether you are getting me this morning dunamis was supposed to change the thing the thing did not change so what do you need you need kratos kratos is the ability that god gives to you to withstand an opposition without shaking kratos is what you need to weary the devil kratos is what you need to get the devil scared how many of you know too that the devil has fears you don't understand what i'm talking about you don't understand how many of you know the devil that you are calling the devil he has fears he has certain people that when he meets them he is afraid especially when he begins to discover that that thing that was supposed to kill you you are still standing that means you have connected to something that is no more dunamis but i call it kratos Secretos, 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 say I need Kratos. Many people they miss that grace, that ability. We always show forth for dunamis. You will always see miracles. But let me tell you, the people that you read today, they call it the hallmark of faith. This is what they carried that made them who they are. When you see Papa running from one place to another, and Papa is saying, Corona has nothing on me. And you notice in the time of Corona, it's like he changed. Another word for that word Kratos means a chameleon. now i didn't know what to preach to be honest i am a writer i write a lot i study a lot besides working of miracles you need this get somebody you need it now that word if you faint in the days of adversity your strength is small in hebrew is koak it means a chameleon that adapts to situation and instead of the situation to rule over you you rule over the situation watch this when you look at the chameleon when it goes to a place where there's green grass it becomes green when it goes to a place where it seems as if it's dark it becomes dark it keeps changing so a chameleon is unpredictable you must look keenly to know whether that is a chameleon or not when you have kratos that is how you shock the devil because the devil says corona is coming you see i'm bigger than that the devil says financial hardship is coming you see i'm bigger than that the devil cannot hold you because you keep changing the weather doesn't determine how you flow you 
control the weather watch this i have seen things my little experiences papa was teaching here about tongues and he said animals they make some sounds actually my wife used to snore and i heard the interpretation in tongues snore i will hear it i have seen situation because when you see me standing here ah you don't know the story we live in conditions whereby my wife because she took me in with my 33,000 euro debt she was a rich woman she had everything we slept in a place she took me in our bed one was up one was down but in the midst of that we were givers of the kingdom we kept giving so this woman forsake everything because he met this african that she doesn't know where he came from but what kept us at that point in time i remember she sold that car and those days the church asked for a thousand euro which today surely i'm coming there somebody will be challenged in this room watch this if you're a young man never you say you don't have never you say i have few minutes but this few minutes god will still do what he want to do in this service Tell somebody kratos say kratos so in our difficult moments that is what sustains us i will stand on my feet for 12 hours Ebe, Koi, Zami, Taba, Jidabos, Kebias, Ladas, Ezebas, Azimas, 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 Kaima, Abias, Zabadias, Azebas, Azodias. My mother will go to work and come back. I'm still praying. I started 12 midnight. I was building Kratos. That means in the midst of all the things that i'm going through i am telling the devil i still have dominion i am telling the devil you are still under my feet in the midst of it it is easy to preach something because you heard somebody say it but it's another thing when you are imparted with the same spirit you can deliver i am telling you my life 12 hours my mother will come back that is her mother this one doesn't sleep this one doesn't sleep and i will keep praying i will keep praying the weather is changing me too i am changing the weather is speaking me too i am speaking the weather is talking me too i am talking and in the midst of that it's like many years nothing change but things were changing in the realm of the spirit now watch this you must remember this word very well take your seat let me talk to you shasokeke lodiba 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 Lodiba, 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 Lodiba. There is an outpouring today. An outpouring of the Spirit. A fresh one upon you. It will give you a tenacity. And in that tenacity, that you will push further. Now watch this. This word Kratos, it means dominion. To have dominion over the affairs of life you can have dominion over territories you can have dominion over the principality in your family you can have dominion over whatsoever your school your job your business you don't allow circumstances to dictate how you will act most of the time we act in the rhythm of circumstances as if god change not change because corona came he said i am the lord thy god i change and not so every corona cannot predict the god who 
yourself why should you allow corona predict you now watch this watch this somebody open open your bibles let's go to ephesians ephesians chapter 1 verse 19 say kratos say you need kratos say you need kratos that is what paul the paul you admire was always building speaking in the holy ghost or what we are in church is exousia dunamis exousia dunamis can i explain something to you i've seen people that come under the power god used them after that after that minute the spirit came upon god used them but after that minute a certain situation before them on a way they didn't know how to stand i have seen that i have seen their language change just like that because there was something that they missed they call it kratos they call it kratos kratos is a power which the church must desire when i was coming to accra to ghana i saw something i saw fire that fell on roofs watch this before you interpret but it brought a lot of fear it was chaotic it was like something else is coming on the planet earth as i just entered ghana and everybody was trembling because of that fire it came from above then i hear the lord came to me he said go tell them what to do and today papa's message was prophetic that in the middle of everything we are going through he was talking about daniel there is always somebody that god had anointed to interpret circumstances i didn't hear you shout now i did not share this with nobody i was in the plane when i had this and i already reset my spirit something worse than than corona i am not a prophet of doom who hit the planet earth and when these things begin to break forth the ones that are operating with kratos will be the one that god will be using and will be the one that will be standing but you see my friends the Bezindia Kai, Maita, 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 Maita. He is able. 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 Watch this. Watch this. Koske de Kudas, Libarazida Bos. Watch this. In Ephesians 1. Verse 18, chapter 9, Ephesians 1, verse 19. Somebody put the scripture on the board. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us? That is Dudamis. Who believe according to the working of his East Coast Kratos? So the power change. It change from dunamis i know when you read it you would think it's the same thing but it's different things all together he said according to the working of his east coast kratos now what is east coast and thou shall love the lord thy god with all thy heart with all thy mind with all thy strength East Coast is what gives you focus in the time of adversity. Focus is also power. There are many people in the time of adversity, they are so distracted. In short, they don't know what to do anymore. If God, our Father, your Father, needed east coast to bring jesus back to life you also need it to change circumstances the bible 
Bible says God did not only use each coast concentration when I get up in the morning my day is not going the way I want I just declare a fast and it focus I don't want to be kind I just fast a lot for me I don't know whether I fast or I eat but I live that way I live that way for a long time I used to declare a year fast I stayed in my house with my wife I would sleep on the floor you will only hear me cabez Jesus I was this skinny until my mother when we went back home they thought it's because she's not giving me food but I didn't mind them because my spirit was craving for something more than natural things now watch this God needed focus which is something you can't have until you give yourself over to the spirit I know that in school they told you to create an environment it's a lie that is a lie because you can still create all the environment you want to yet your mind is still very busy and I discover look at verse 20 of this text James which he wrote in Christ when he raised him from the dead the word wrote there is energy but God needed Iskos and Kratos to bring Jesus back to life that demon that is still in your life you are not focused enough if you are focused enough the demon will check out that person that have been opposing you in your job let me tell you something when I worked in e that is the biggest Italian oil company I was doing bank reconciliation for 42 different companies in my room was a witch so I noticed I was not too good in too much Excel then I noticed she always picked things up and reported me to the manager she wanted me fired so I shift my gear I start to come to the office at six o'clock in the morning I will sit on my decks I begin to pray in tongues Kaba, Shiba, Saba. she said something is wrong with this room I do praying in here I didn't answer I stick it I kept on at the same thing the same time I am there and besides that I am already up at 12 midnight pray I prayed until I wearied this girl she was a witch in short it's not any witch you think she is a witch she got delivered in the office she ended up making the church flyers for free she made our first flyer for free after her deliverance you need Kratos and Iskos to worry the devil and also cause him to be scared of you we need focus our generation my generation is too distracted today you are there the next day you are there this man of God is great that one is great but who are you really following do you really have a direction concentration is needed for complete deliverance without concentration you cannot cast out demons this is what papa did but but i want to tell you even in his sleep his focus level was very high even in his sleep the power is ghost was at work so most of the time you see the things he, he's doing you can't interpret because it's like he's entering from one room the other day let me just say it he came to me he said son come let me take you to different rooms and he was moving like you saw this thing that papa is moving here and 
any go yes say hey he's in another room in the spirit he's in another room and when they say in my father's house there are many mansions i don't need to go to heaven the mansions are in him that is a revelation by itself so most people are waiting for heaven i say relax if my body is the temple of the lord and the spirit of the lord indwells me and the bible says, yeah at the household of god yes those kikatos so where do you think those houses are they are in us they are in us jesus god the father needed iskos and kratos to bring our lord back to life you see the disciples there was a time jesus asked them to cast out a demon and he came back i discovered that in short they tried to cast out a demon that was the story matthew 17 and they tried and they failed you will be thinking jesus would teach them a new sermon but the first thing he told them he told them something he said this is because of unbelief unbelief means you are distracted that means you are double in your agenda then he didn't stop there then he said and this kind go and not but by prayer and fasting so you'll be thinking it is the fasting that God want to use now to solve your problem God was telling them you need focus so when you fast you will have focus to deal with the same thing that challenges you always need fasting fasting doesn't mean i declare six to six we saw jesus fasted for 40 days but when he got up early in the morning he prayed all night that was also fasting ah you didn't get me i know you are always waiting for somebody to tell you to fast but having a life that is always fasting has to do with a lot of discipline you need discipline my generation needs discipline without discipline my friend you are still joking because even the devil is disciplined even the devil you are calling the devil all the time is discipline and because you are not disciplined you are the one giving him your power himself he knows the only way he can have you is when you become ignorant of how he operates that's why you need his cause focus and it will not come through any method you need kratos which is born out of the word and intensive prayer you need fasting to always be alert i think it is becoming a new ritual when we always wait for the church to declare a fast that means you are not really conscious of your being your being is not the clothes you wear it's not the body you touch your being is the spirit man he desires for something more than your natural food is the person that you have to give attention to are you getting this now you watch i started with matthew chapter 26 i told you jesus said so that you enter not into temptation and i told you after that prayer nothing changed he went ahead and become an offering i'll be closing with this after iskos kratos you need to bring an offering let me show you something the bible says before the call i will answer 
That means the person didn't say anything. God answered her. That means the person did something before asking. You are not getting me. Before they call, I will answer. That word answer means Anna. It means God says, I will respond immediately. Then, he said, why they are still talking? I will hear. That is something else. It means, it is Shama. It means, I will consider. You are not getting it. God said, I am still considering whether I will say yes. That will be next time. I will show you is which God consider before you see when we come to God and talk it's not a guarantee for a response are you here with me even though Jesus prayed if this be that will let this God pass me by the father still let him to go to the cross and die and after that we become the harvest that you make in the realm of the spirit that goes beyond words I watch my papa I follow him keenly I believe one of the things that provokes the miraculous in his life is his level of giving no getting I believe it is his offerings his offerings if you want to survive in this time what are they calling corona or they call it a moment of adversity you need iscos you need kratos but also you don't need to always go to the place of shama stop in the place of anna anna means I will respond without thinking remember when Cornelius prayed and gave an offering God said I've heard your prayer then your offering has come to me as an arm God responded to Cornelius imagine Cornelius was even an unbeliever the centurion when one of his servants was sick the only reason why the servant came back to life he built a synagogue the jewish people went to the central they went to jesus and they told him and this man has built a synagogue for us the reason why the prostitute her sins was forgiven is not because she prayed she didn't pray i can tell you what she did are you still here with me how can an unbeliever receive forgiveness of sins just like that that means there's something that she did that you and i as believers have not caught it yet she anointed the feet of jesus when you see jesus was talking about this woman he kept talking about what she did what she did and what she did and then the bible says charity covered a multitude of sin she didn't ask for forgiveness she didn't pray the sent you wrong didn't pray sometimes we have prayed too much and yet we are not getting anything because our time of offering we refuse can you imagine jesus imagine jesus after he prayed that prayer then he refused to die after you have gathered kratos iskos and yet you refuse to give an offering where will you and i be today Cornelius offering brought salvation to us 
the prostitute she got delivered because of her offering imagine you need kratos to stand against the adversity you need iskos for concentration you need anna anna for example you are going to a store to buy something there are people that they want to get the goods on credit so they have to check your credentials they have to check whether you are capable of paying the bill well this is a bit of economics let me just go there a little bit they have to check all those things all those people that are working in the bank your address and this and that am i talking to director diner yes that's good they will check all those things what are they doing the bank is still considering whether they will give you what you request for but there's another person that walk into the store have his money already he's not there to bargain with anybody and he's coming to that same bank and say hey bank this is what i want to do i have cash down you will not even check his home address his titles and whatever these are people that command things to happen today i want to challenge somebody after kratos you need iskos and i will be one of the people that will stand and take part of this seat i want to challenge in this room don't say you are a student can i tell you something i went to prophet victor's conference one time and my wife brought me there by force i did not really like prophets that is one of the things that i studied a lot i studied a lot because i came from africa where you see which doctors they do their things and all those things so i had to study in short my highest studies has been on prophecy prophets i really want to know in my spirit not knowing that the same thing you hated so much but when we talk about that one another time and prophet victor came and said i need people that will sow a thousand euros i am saying this openly begin to speak against it in my heart then the lord said i had just two euro fifty that two euro fifty means i've been sleeping on the street i slept on the street that is part of my life also I beg for food that is part of my life also so when you see me wearing these things you don't know me don't conclude because you see me the way i am i've been through some i beg for food in amsterdam i slept on benches in cafes and that day i had two euro fifty that two euro fifty i was about to buy mcdonald's for one euro and pay my transport to go sleep in central station i could not even go to my house and the lord said to me why are you speaking against the seed it is not for you say what do you have i said i have two euro fifty he said why don't you give it to me then i also noticed that people that don't give can still bargain with one euros was bargaining with two euro fifty i told god this is the last he said try it and see i gave the money two euro fifty i left that service i didn't even know how to get home thinking i would steal the metro i begin to pick money i picked money on the ground i went to the cafe i picked money i went to central station i picked dollars Papa, after a couple of days that I didn't sleep in my house, I was able to pay transport to go home. And that day, the Lord said, I am teaching you a secret. Never you withhold from me. And I will use you in my kingdom in this area when it comes to finances. Sometimes I even call myself the collector it's a name which most people don't like but even in this area the church must be bold we need it but today i want to challenge 40 people with a thousand ghana seed i want you to join me don't say you have given and given 
I have dropped three things today. Iskos, Kratos. Then now, I am taking you to Anna, which was the last thing Jesus did. That's why we are here. And watch this. I want to challenge you. Don't look at your bank account to respond to this seat. That means you don't believe God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that which we ask or think of. Today God is giving you an opportunity. And I will not lay hands on you because my papa is here. I will let my papa lay hands on you. And this three great grace which I have lived with, my, you will never see me find me complaining even when it's, it looks like it's not working. My wife said, I don't know whether you adapt to everything. There's something that we call Kratos. You become a chameleon in certain seasons. Now watch this. I want to challenge you here in this room. I know we just came out of explosion number six. And you are saying in your heart, I have given and I have given and I have given. But today, I would love you to join me with this seat. I am one of the persons that will give this seat. To join me, my, my brother, thank you. I would love you to join me. I just need 40 people. And I want you to respond fast. If this message has been a blessing to you. Join me with a seat. Sweetheart, come. A thousand Ghana seats. I am challenging you. The harvest you will need is in this response. Don't just sit down. I'm challenging you. Don't look at your bank account. If you want to keep looking at your bank account to do what God asks you, ha, you will never do anything. All those people that took those envelopes, just stand here with me because Papa will lay hands on all of us. I want you to stand on your feet and I want you to make a line. Thank you. The thousand, the thousand euros, the thousand Ghana, I mean thousand Ghana cities. <laughs> Sorry. Choir, I challenge you, stand for that seat. Don't look at how you are. You can handle it. He's able to do exceedingly. And if you are youth in this building, I also challenge you. I remember Mike Mudok came to Amsterdam. I was in 33,000 euro debt. He said, So your first thousand. I looked to the left, looked to the right. I was the first person that stood there. And I honored that seat like a joke. But I was sleeping on the street. God gave the money. If you see him as the one that supplies your needs, what is a thousand euros? What is a thousand Ghana cities? Challenge yourself. This morning, challenge yourself. If you believe in this ministry, you believe in this grace. Don't also look at your salary. Maybe after today, your salary will jump. After today, the breakthrough you are looking for will happen. Respond. And may God give you these three powers. East Coast, Kratos and Anna. That you will always flow 
in this dimension even when it looks like everything is gloomy you will know what to do in the name of jesus maybe you are there sitting there you say hey man of god i really want to be part of this seat i will go to are you there are you joining us thank you so much sir god bless you it's like i will take these glasses to amsterdam thank you hallelujah you are there standing and you are saying to yourself i can join because i will stop at i will not call it i can join with 500 ghana cities i will love you to leave your seat and join this group 500 ghana cities challenge yourself what kind of harvest do you want you know jesus gave them 100 percent after he prayed yes today is your day may god give you a testimony then you will remember somebody came from amsterdam our own brother and said some things and testimonies begin to break forth from every direction testimonies 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 oh yes wow thank you jesus testimonies thank you thank you testimonies oh yes thank you sir oh yes oh yes my god yes thank you jesus i have somebody here for 500 stand on your seat stand on your seat i'm going to the last level and papa will lay hands on all of us i believe today is our day there's one thing that i can guarantee you god has never ministered to me and come to this level without fulfilling it I have talked to many people i've gone to some places at the end of the day they share their testimonies because the word must be practicalized if i stopped here and i went to my seat the lord will tell me you did an uncompleted job but i choose to obey now the last set of people 200 ghana cities and i'm not going below you are sitting on your seat you see, I want to be part of this. 200 Ghana cities. 200. 200. If you can do it now, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Papa, forgive me. I've exceeded the time. I'm sorry, sir. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, somebody sing it out loud. He's able. He's able. He's able. God is able to do just what he Yes. He will do. Oh no, your pledge. He's gonna fulfill Thank you, Jesus. every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. He's able. Oh my father. Actually, I struggle to come and preach today. I ask you what is going on and I sat in the office of Papa the 
message came father many of them have stretched themselves today do for them what no man can do that in the midst of this corona they will excel in every phase of their life I ask you my father my father let these abilities kratos iskos anna let it be the portion and each and every one of them with this seed my father give them a testimony that it will not tarry let it be suddenly in jesus name amen thank you Papa. father in the name of jesus thank you for the life of your son let the oil of grace come upon him touch him in a special way anoint him the fullness of power and virtue receive it in jesus mighty name and thank you for the life of your daughter we ask in jesus name that they will go full of the anointing and full of grace touch a life in the mighty name of jesus and saw the horn of her salvation and we pray in jesus name that they will fulfill every mandate and every assignment you've given to them in jesus name amen